All right, everybody, um, ex future expat back again. Uh, I mixed up some soil here with some compost and perlite, and I planted three cabbages, air red cabbages that are left over, and some of my onion sets that are left over. And here I got six Brussels sprout plants in my raised bed here and I got four cabbage plants along with some spinach and some Swiss chard and then over here I got my uh, starter potatoes I cut them up and I'm letting them get skinned over with the sun shining on them nice and bright and I got a thing I planted here some more strawberries and I'm gonna put some potatoes in this one I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little asparagus starting to pop up there, a little red one, purplish one. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. Yeah, right there. And then here I got two purple ones. And then I'll go show you guys my, uh, my wife's Race, I mean, a uh, flower bed thing that I made for her on the balcony. We've got to ascend the stairs. That's my knife I used to cut the potatoes. I need to pick that up. Okay, here we go. And there's one cabbage there, another cabbage there. And some red cabbage, more red cabbage. And I planted some onion sets up here so they're easier for her to grab if she needs an onion. Hopefully they'll bloom this time. And that's about it. I mix the soil up and put it in there. It's got a garden soil, perlite, and then compost. Just picked up a pack of that at the hardware store, or the co-op store. the old shakester. He wants to go inside the house. It's, it's a little hot in the sun for him. Okay, that's about it for now. After I plant my potato sets, I'll, or my potato starters, I'll let you guys know. All right, that's about it for now. Okay, thanks. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I just figured out how to pause my video and then start recording again without starting a brand new one. All right, I don't know if you can see these trees, but uh, during that less heavy snowstorm we had, it tipped these things over, and now I have to figure out a way to straighten it back up. We did the same thing on this other one here. My wife did a nice job weeding this out with her rose bed. And then uh, this is the neighbor's dog. He, he doesn't like me too much. Same thing on this one. It's tipped over. It's leaning like about, I don't know, I'm going to say about six degrees. And that fire pit, I just put a bunch more scrap woods in there. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, having a fire get that thing burned out of here but now I have neighbors behind me so the I'm not worried about the smoke going in their windows the house was vacant for about three years and then someone moved in there this past winter so anyway all the trees are starting to bud out really nice yeah sorry about the mess here I'm gonna straighten that out pretty soon there'll be an after photo I mean after video of course in my shed I gotta clean that thing out it is disgusting anyway that's all I got for right now I'll see you guys in a little bit after I get everything squared away on my potatoes <laughs> 